instantly dress up your curb appeal by making a fake column to cover up an existing wrought iron column. Tools and supplies needed. The links will be in the description. First we want to plan the design and get the materials. I'm doing a simple box design. All sides will be equal in size. I'm going to attach the top of the box to this existing dog ear cedar trim board. Now you want to cut the boards to size and start assembly. I'm going to use pressure treated blocks as support blocks for this box. That way moisture won't come in contact to the bottom of the box that will eventually cause it to warp. So I'm preventing that. You'll see at each end of the box I'm going to put a deck screw to attach it to the plywood and I'm going to glue the entire edge of the box and then use brad nails in between the two deck screws. Remember to use the glue because the glue will create a better bond than uh, screws will. So I did the screws one on each end because it's going to be covered up by trim board. So you want to drill pilot holes and then attach it to the, the trim board like I did. But of course your application is going to be different. This is just a basic idea of how it can be done to make a fake facade. This is a non-supporting column. It's just purely decoration. Be sure to check for a plum so that way it doesn't come out lopsided looking. So then I cut the, once I have the box all assembled, then I cut all the trim board pieces. I did use glue and I also used a brad nailer to nail it in place. So here's the column finished, and it was primed and painted. So basically, it's just a simple box. And I did the, I used one by four pressure treated wood, and I just made trim to go all the way around to finish this lower edge off. So that way, if any water seepage gets through, it won't touch this plywood. That's and that's also resting on top of pressure treated wood. And then again, <clears throat> I use one by four pressure treated wood up on the top here and just wrapped all the way around it. And you just do 45 mitered angles. All the boards were the same because each dimension of the box was the same. So it's a fairly easy project. And depending on the size you would do to wrap your column, um, this one used one sheet and a quarter of another sheet of plywood. So each sheet was 35 bucks. So if you had smaller dimensions that was more narrower, where you could <clears throat> make it be one sheet of plywood, I mean, that'd be $35 for that sheet. And then um, each like one by four, <clears throat> pressure treated wood was I think it was like just under six bucks so another twelve dollars in in pressure treated wood uh, so less than 50 bucks you could have a column wrapped and make it look really nice a lot better than that wrought iron, iron column that was there be sure to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe, I really appreciate the view. Thank you.